Right, yo, my brother served too, man. I thought I was leaving until this guy went ape shit about the flag. This dude went ape shit about the flag. So now, yeah, he just ran up and started really uh, physically. Hey, go get campus security. Let's do a breathalyzer. Hey, yo, sorry, sorry, sister. Hey, yo, the protesters have said if they give them a poll, they will put it up higher. Let them do a breathalyzer. Hey, let them do a breathalyzer. They said if you gave them a poll, they will put it up higher. The last night, no, I filmed it last night during the conversation. They said if they got a poll, they will put it up higher. Well, I'm here to tell you, as media, I documented it. They said that if they were given a poll, because they have been asking for supplies, that they will put that flag up higher. They were willing to, they were willing to like try. Yeah, but they don't have a poll to do it. I'll give them zip ties, they can put them on their tent. I'll give them a poll, whatever. They said they weren't willing to do that. Yo, but look, it's on a new poll right now. So what are you arguing about? You're ar it's up there, it's not in the dirt. You're arguing about these flags right here, which your students did in opposition to our flag because it's upside down, which is why those are right side up. You came over here belligerent and drunk and hopped into a student's face. He hopped into my face. Are you a student? You are a student and he hopped into your face. He is drunk. My, my point was, oh, your point was to calm down when he gets was he here last night. Now you all No, he just admitted that he was not here my last point night. was that your message is being Hey, we don't need you. We don't even need to be It doesn't matter if you People had to physically separate you, like step in between you. But they, that's not a reason to physically assault people. Thank you. Like, we, we filmed that. Yeah, people are, we can agree to disagree peacefully. I'm fine with that. Well, I mean, we had a protest. We had a right to protest. She's a student. Wherever She's we a student. They have rights to but protest. But listen, you don't students have, have right the right to protest. Right to and and students have the right to protest and have support from their community members and those who... who he's men are members of my community. All right, so I can bring whoever the hell I want to. Guess what? My tax dollars pay for this university just like anybody else's tax dollars pay for a private university. It doesn't. A private university. The private user university does not pay taxes and the all our universities guests. Uh, yeah. All, all, he he yeah. with me. He with me. Anybody so, else that, you, that you're assuming no, is in a student? Matter. I'm a student. Who, who, I, I asked student. who was a student. Okay. They with me. I'm a student. a student. I belong here. And so yeah. does he. And, and by default, because and if, he might get so If you want to have a student protest, that's one thing. If you want to have a different kind of protest, there were thousands, that's a different thing. There were hundreds of students out there. Last no. night, in that's support. That's my point. In support. My point was I want a counter argument to the argument being made to me by members of my organization. Okay, can I, can I have a chance to address yes, that? I'm sorry, but in the confusion, I did miss miss okay. the argument. Can I please, can you the tell me The argument is people are saying this is a private institution. People are coming here to protest that are not part of this university. Mm -hmm. Any university students who wish to protest can freely do so. Mm -hmm. Why did our president allow members from the outside community to come into this university? Wait, I, can I please? Wait, can I? I know. Can I? Um, well, that's a court, that's a case that's been handled by the Supreme Court, actually. Can I? I know. Let me. Can I address the question from my my personal perspective? Because a U.S. institution and. No Jesus, is it because I'm a woman that I can just okay. engage because you're a woman, student. he's engaging me. I'm sorry. This is a multifaceted thing. So let me just ask you a question. I, just, I live stream the I live stream the entire thing. Let me ask you a question, bro. So you got a problem with the the, the, the question that your authority of this campus is making, right? Yeah. Just like we have a problem with the authority that's oppressing us is making. So we standing out and being heard just like you want to stand out and be heard against the president. You see where the conflict of interest come in? Because we got permission from the president and because of y'all own personal beliefs, y'all want us to go. I don't necessarily want you to go. Well, okay then. So like, I, 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 can't, it because because it's it's I can't give a statement for the entire organization. You're asking for, you're asking what, like what to tell other people who are saying this? No, no, no. no? no. So, well, I mean, I can't speak for everybody, but so, so what my perspective is... I'm the president of Student Veterans. Right, right. Which is calling for me to say something, right? Because and I don't want to say something until I have an informed opinion about what these individuals represent. 
Well, right. for, as somebody who's been dialogue. monitoring this situation for quite a while, um, it's my perspective that this is an insulated community at the school, and there is a lot of there are a lot of things taking place outside. And so, understandably, this is a private institution. However, your mission statement of um, inclusion, right, does sig um, signify that like the outer community should have a voice at least in allowing to like letting the students know what is happening. Although people might not agree with what's going on, we do have student support. And so, at the point to where some of the students on campus are are relating to the issues that are going on here, that you know this is this is a what this is is an attempt to hold a dialogue to increase awareness. You know what I mean? So that people can hold conversations so that we won't be sitting here judging by like whatever we read and then like I'm not actually talking to the individuals themselves. So I'm like, at some point, you know, just taking a step back, I'm like, I understand that, you know, one side may not agree with the other side's argument. But I mean, as a veteran and honestly, as, as a grandchild of a veteran, like my family wouldn't be here if it wasn't for, you know, military bases in Japan. So it's like... <clears throat> what it means to be an American and have the Bill of Rights and have these freedoms, it's like at some point we have to take the lens of analysis of whatever like makes us comfortable and say like, even though we don't agree with what you're saying, you do have that right. You know, and so like if there was a counter protest by your organization that wanted to come here and present that, no, 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 I'm just like, in a, I'm presenting a scenario, I'm not saying that you are. But like if that was to happen, like we would have to be as, you know, and I'm, I'm just saying we like, cause I'm speaking, in re in relation to but like we would have to be just as accepting and open-minded to whatever your viewpoints were and would have to open that dialogue up as well you know what i mean and that that's including if you brought your friends and family from outside the campus also you know what i mean so i mean i, I like i said i don't speak for them tolerated to a certain extent when my family comes here and starts making a, an issue they're no longer going to be tolerated on this, on well, this but what issue has been like what have they made because i don't know yeah that's the whole point other, other than like, the fact that on a sunday night there was a protest that involved individuals that represented this movement and students keeping other students away. And politicians that is an and people. You have to realize there were thousands of people who came here. I understand there was people, people that came here. from FUBAR, Great came leaders, from the Schaefer Arena. Yeah, it, it was There was a lot of people from the community came But you didn't here. come out and talk to them that night because the truth of the matter is when, that, hold on, I was when that bullhorn no. was here, other students who had the same grievances that you guys try to address now could have happily walked up. When they offered the bullhorn to salute students, let's just be very clear about last that. Night, mm -hmm. Last night last and night, the night before. Hold on. Last night, because I went to a white university and I understand how this plays out. For you, you have to be very careful of your language. For you to say things like allow and things like that, at the end of the day, hold on, at the end of the day, you don't have the complete decision-making power. And what if, you think you do? And if, Why and if, hold on. You been saying. I didn't say I but, had any decision-making power. But you did because you came up and the first thing that you said, no, 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 you did. Because the first thing that you said was that you've been withholding a vote a vote of confidence to remove the president and you tried to use that as leverage to show your power in the situation you don't have the five power to make them leave no and your vote that. doesn't but you said it you said no, it when you're you walked assuming out. That my man that you means said what it. i said what, what back you back just said food. you yeah, walked out back. No, no, what i said food. was well, you well, we're live right now so let me do yes and so my point is your organization was getting ready to attack me and you said out you came up you led with that you led with that you led with that you said i need I'm here to have a fucking dialogue. I am having a dialogue. You're here to fucking shout people down who I'm disagree with your opinion. You're, you're, you're here to shout people ahead. down to so disagree with your opinion. So what did you say? I don't disagree with you. I live on South fucking Grand. I deal with this I all night North long every night. And, and we did right? For the past right. five days. It's yeah. not a... It's not a uh, so you've been uncomfortable for a week. You live on South Grand. You've been uncomfortable for a week. All right. And they're trying to express to people that they've been uncomfortable with their whole life. This is point. Yeah. You, you, you talk about a dialogue, but like this man said, you ain't willing to hear Go ahead. what I gotta say. Please, Go ahead. Please, First and foremost, up. I agree with, with with what is being protested here, right? What I don't agree with is whether or not it sh is appropriate for this campus. Why not? Because this is a private institution. But you have an oath of inclusion. How is that important? Because you have an oath of inclusion. You have an oath of inclusion for students who attend this university. Not for everybody who wants to invite you. Yo, yo. I'll tell you why right now. The fact of the matter is, as a nonprofit institution, you're withholding tax dollars for public education. I teach in the school right up the street that doesn't have enough, precisely because this overstocked bourgeois university has too much. It doesn't pay taxes on that shit. That, that makes it everybody's issue. That is a that different argument. Say, no, it's, 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 a, it's, it's a part of the systemic racism. It's a part of the systemic racism and white supremacy than the system of oppression that is like very topical. St. Louis. That's the problem. Right there is a problem. Again, your comfort is privilege. 
It's privilege. We don't have the privilege. You are upset about the privilege, privilege, privilege to be comfortable. Shit can't happen. Yeah. You're 2 a.m. midterm. So I went to a white university. Space. I understand how this plays out. You are uncomfortable because this is an incubator of privilege. It's a hub, it's a bubble, it's an incubator of privilege. It doesn't make me uncomfortable. Not you, not no, not, not you speaking to us. He's like the president of like Veterans Club or something like that. Yeah, he's the president of the Student Veterans Association. Veterans Association. Yeah, he got one of his one of the members of his organization is getting ready to attack me because I said First, I said, uh, screw the fan. The flag like, is not on the ground, though. You guys like And I mentioned the fact that he was fighting in Iraq. He was not, he was not uh, building democracy. He was fighting on behalf of the American corporation. Exxon. Right, right. To take, yes, to take resources from the Iraqi people. And he didn't like that. He was basically saying that he was doing what his leaders told him to do, which right. was ridiculous. And right. he became very belligerent and acted like he was prepared to attack me. And I'm a student here. I'm not some outside agitator. Right, right, right. right. People who well, that's why I was like, oh, okay. Cameras, cameras. Yeah, like we, need, we need stuff like this recorded. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what they're. So I was just getting ready to leave. A genuine dialogue. Let's have a dialogue that addresses these issues, right? Because nobody here, not him, not me, is a, is denying the fact that there is um, an institutional bias, right? Your communities, not all y'all's communities, but communities are not given the same advantages in life. We understand that, right? But, but the president I'm here on scholarship. But if this is a, a Jesuit a, school, a like, no, did Jesus not represent the poor? Did he not say the last would come first? Like, did he not go into the temple and destroy it because they were capitalizing on people? Like, this is exactly why this should be here. We will personally provide you new cultures, like, even to hang them upside down. Because your community is alive. Right, because that's more important than what we're talking about. more than human life. When you say allow and things like that, you have to. I, allow I, I, the okay, wrong yeah, I got that, but what I'm saying to you is this: a majorly defensive letting posture. This happen no, I do not. Gives you guys the opportunity as students to now protest in different ways. You have to understand that you have to understand what this opens up for you as students. All right. I, 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 I agree, white but if I want to even hang a flyer, I have to get a stamp of approval so now think about that. to so do now, so. Now. Okay, but you know what? That's yeah. that should you know what? Cal State Hay No, excuse me. Chabot College and Hayward had that same thing, and they had to revamp their policies based on the fact that they were outdated and that they actually violate the free speech policies of American citizens. So you shouldn't have to go purchase something in order to post a flyer. A lot of those, a lot of the policies that they have probably need to be updated to address. The, to address how students communicate? Yes, no, California universities yeah, had to do this three, year, three, three years ago because they arrested Josh for posting something about an Occupy event on a thing and suspended him from school. But we were students. I'm not you. Personally. You're the one talking about how my oh, no, words no, are. No, no, I said they first, right? I said they, and then I said, what is your complaint if they are doing the same thing? I wasn't speaking directly to you. It was more of a generalized the, the, thing. The complaint earlier from my organization was the flag was in the dirt, right? Right, like that one is? It's almost in the yeah. I don't know, but Jesus, know and I know in the Bible, I'm supposed to be able to come as I am. And I know that he was poor and he represented the poor. And he said that the last will come first. And at that point to where this is a Jesuit school and the outside community is hurting. Like, why wouldn't we come here? But why wouldn't we come here then if that's the place, if that's the case? Like, your mission statement is a statement of inclusion. This is a Jesuit school and it's supposed to be on God is love. And Jesus represents, and I'm sorry, didn't the temple get torn down? down because they were capitalizing off of so don't tell me that the outside community shouldn't come in here no okay but you just said it was a jesuit school but every you're like a moving target i am a professional debater you are a moving target no matter what argument you throw out if it's a debated down you have another one to throw out to try to delegitimize people's people's you have no right to delegitimize people's protests especially if you don't know their life delegitimize anybody because you're saying that they don't belong here and as an american citizen i have the right to freely travel in this country Did so I no just make an intercession now? all right mm -hmm. there's lots of contention on campus between this group and lots of people on campus now you do have lots of supporters here i am one of them all right but the fact that somebody from what i've seen cannot speak their mind without just being bashed i feel like that is a significant flaw let me repeat what i said earlier I support your arguments 100%. I support your cause 100%.
but I feel like there's a divide that's growing and it's the result of both sides being hostile towards everyone else. But you guys need to take the first step in listening and hearing out the people who live here. It's been 400 years of oppression. They just lynched I'm another black boy in, in, in um, um, no. shit. Thank you. They just said. lynched somebody yeah, and you want to say be patient? They said. killing us. Yeah, I'm going to respond to what you said. We are being patient because people are still alive. Right. I need to walk away from that. that He's like, we need to be patient and educate. And I'm like, it's been over 400 years. They just right, fucking I mean, lynched wait, somebody wait, two months ago. Another black boy got lynched. This is an epidemic and it's been going on. You saying be patient? We are patient because right. buildings are still standing and right. people are still living right. and this government is still in control. Right. We patient as fuck. I'm here. I've been patient all be patient years of life. Huh? Jesus. What do you say be patient about? God damn it. Hey. He's like, people can't have the right to speak without being bashed. Well, because we're tired of hearing about white privilege and white supremacy and how we need to cater to assimilation and people who are comfortable with that shit. I'm sorry, but I said it last night. If you're doing it right, you're going to lose friends. You're going to make them uncomfortable. You're going to cry. It's going to be fucked up because you're doing it right. Exactly. Because people that's get right. uncomfortable. That's how you know you're doing it right. You, yep. You're that's uncomfortable. You know you're I'm not right. bashing you. I'm not insulting you. You're uncomfortable. Because that's what I'm saying. And it's not a race issue. It's, it's a human issue. <clears throat> I just want to be treated human. I don't want to have to tell my son to come home because he's black. Right. Y'all don't wake up crying and holding your that. babies because that. the world hates yeah, them because the color of their skin. Don't know what that feels like. You don't know what that feels like. like. To me, if you do you know that the miscarriage that rates for African American women are higher like. once they realize they have a boy in this country than any other ethnicity? Because we are so afraid of what will happen to our children because we know how we're treated. Look up this you a college students. Did you so fucking smart? Look the statistic up. We're tired of being patient. My whole 22 years of life, I've been waiting for something like this to happen. That's a long ass time. <laughs> My one year old is in the car. How long before he put a hoodie on and he's a criminal and a threat because he's black? <laughs> I don't give a fuck about that flag or none of this shit. I hope y'all are uncomfortable as fuck. Because y'all would kill my baby and then tell me about a fucking flag. I just told them that yesterday. Come here, bro. Come here. I just told them that earlier. They don't understand that shit. Y'all don't understand Y'all killing our babies and y'all telling us to be patient. What do I got to educate you for? We burying our children. This country is less than 8% black males. Our prison population is more than 50%. The numbers don't lie. Fuck patience. You gotta be patient. Wait till they kill another 400 of y'all. Let it be. Wait till they start burning crosses and dragging you motherfuckers from the back of trucks and down gravel roads and shit again. Cause they already lynching you off fucking pecan trees at 17 in North Carolina. Because I respect you, right? and I respect your opinion. You know why? Because you came out here to voice your opinion and to get an uh, understanding. I don't respect nobody who you talking about in your dorm talking about this shit because they're not fucking out here trying to see how the fuck to make a difference and how to make a change. They want to sit back in the comfort of their own fucking white privilege and ignore this shit and just make it go away. Shoot the shit away. Shoot the shit away. It never happened. Act like it never happened. And we lead a day tomorrow y'all act like this shit never happened. And rejoice and be glad. But guess what? Motherfuckers we don't, don't wake up hugging your son, crying because the world hate them and will fucking kill them because of the skin they got from that, you. And then the same shit our ancestors had to face before that. You see? You see, you see what the unfair and unbalanced said? So we really at a point to where we don't care about the ones who are not 
feeling comfortable with what we doing. No, we're not gonna disrespect you and tear your shit down. But at the same time, you're not finna get no fucking peace from us because we ain't getting no peace. And now we're fucking standing here saying, look, we're not fucking taking this shit no more. And we don't give a fuck who don't like it. You better sit your ass in the own comfort of your home like you've been doing and act like it's not fucking happening. Cause you're not gonna bring it to the forefront and then trump everything that we fucking trying to get happening. I read, no, I was, I was telling him something. Yeah, no, 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 I was, no, no, I was, I wasn't talking to him directly. I'm, we, he said that. He, you know what? If you want me to go back to Africa, then why don't you fucking send my ass? And then why don't you go back to fucking Europe? Cause this ain't your goddamn land neither. Get the hell out my stream. Yeah, why you come get us? You drop my motherfucking ass off. Call me African American because what descendant of what fucking country in Africa did I come from? Since you so smart and you want me to go back to Africa, figure out what country in Africa I came from and send me a plane ticket and I will go. Send me my motherfucking plane ticket out this bitch. Right. That's what I'm saying. Let's not talk about the fact that we was never paid reparations and our money today is made out of one of the top cash crops of slavery. I gotta go back to work for that shit as a descendant of slavery. Tell me something about that and be patient. And be patient. No fucking patient. I'm ready to go. I, I need fucking, I need to goodbye. I'll be back. Yeah. That's why you gotta stress the people that this is where it's at. Fuck all that other bullshit that people are doing right now. This is the deepest that we've gotten into the system right now. Out of all the actions that we've been doing. Man, so y'all, if y'all wanna watch a stream while I go get my mind together, turn on um, Revolutionary Z. He's still over there filming the conversations. We put out emergency call for streamers, so there will be one here so I can at least go get dressed. I got a babysitter sitting in the car with the baby. I gotta go. I done got all fucked up now over this little stupid ass shit. Fucking stupid shit. That's why I'm like, this is the dumbest fucking state I've never been to. <laughs> Yeah, it is though, y'all. That's how they trying to do us. Yeah, it's it. We gonna get to see us back going. <laughs> hey, hey, this, this is how the people who don't care about our movement trying to do us. Yeah, they trying to get us out of here. That's it. They just trying to bully us into submission. submission. No. That's what I'm saying. How you gonna legitimize or delegitimize my my protest? You don't know my life. You ain't even got my skin. Listen, How you gonna tell me what I've been through? Listen, this is funny to me, right? This was funny to me. Like Do you no no no? Do you know how it is to go to elementary school and see African traditional dance and them doing that shit, and then go to a dance and how you motherfuckers tell me that I'm being too sexual and I need to stand back? You've already fucking told me about my culture being fucked. That's what I'm saying. Yep. Exactly. So I'm like, don't sit up here and tell me I've been patient. I've been hella patient. Look, dude, Look so we need to go, because I'm getting fucking irritated. First dude we need to go. Up, I'm going to be back. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming back. All right, all right. See, I'm the first dude who came up made me laugh, because he said, he said, we going against her. Give me, give me. He said, we going against, basically what he said, without saying it, is we going against our president, and we want to make y'all leave. Hey, y'all, the so, reason why I'm going down is because I don't, I'm not dressed for this weather. I was in my damn near pajamas actually it's just some leggings okay and a sweater and my jacket i'm freezing um they put an emergency call out for streamers and i went down there but now revolutionary z is there not me um just so i can go home and, and get the baby situated and um you know put some clothes on because i didn't even get a chance to do that i was running occupied a mob around trying to get him together so he could catch his flight so um yeah so go go to uh, Revolutionary Z, please. Can you please keep eyes on the Occupy SLU protesters? Um, the occupation definitely needs public eyes at all times because this is um, a school with a lot of programmed individuals. They've been using institutionalized education and religion as a way to conform people. And so it can be a dangerous place when you're confront confronting their belief system and how it oppresses people systemically. So please continue to watch them because um, things can get heated very quickly in these types of conversations. <clears throat> so once again, go to Revolutionary Z's Ustream. Um, if you can't find the link, you can go to his Twitter. And um, I'm about to shut down and figure out my life. And I'll be back up after I get warm and get all my stuff together and get the baby um, over to the babysitter's house.